What is going on guys? I am Samuel and welcome back to Louisiana. Today, yet again, I'm with my bike, but today we're not going to be riding it because I've ridden bikes almost my whole life and through this time, I have actually learned a lot of little hacks to make it so much easier to ride bike, keep your bikes running good, to be riding good. And today, I'm going to be telling you guys some of my favorite little tricks that I have learned over my riding career. So, let's get started with the very first one. Yeehaw! When you've been riding for a while and you're starting to sweat and your hands are sweating on your grips, it's so frustrating because your hands will be slipping around in your grips and you can't hang on very well. So what do you do to dry that up? Well, if you take a little bit of sand and kind of rub it around on your hands, it'll absorb sweat. You can even kind of pour some sand on your grips and rub it in there and that will really help it absorb sweat. And it can get a little gross if you're like really sweaty and then you get kind of kind of muddy and you're trying to use your phone and stuff. But as long as you're just riding and you're not worried about anything else, it makes it so much easier to have a strong grip on your bars, your hands aren't slipping around. Do you see that leaf just bounce off my head? Let's go on to the other problem, which also comes from grips. And this is what can happen if sweat gets up underneath your grip. So if you like me, I tend to grip with my thumb kind of on the handlebar and a little bit off the grip. So my thumb can kind of roll the grip back and sweat or sand or debris can just get under the grip. And it makes it really easy to get throttle grip, which is what happens when your grip is slipping around your handlebar. And usually if that starts, it's going to start on one of the ends, either getting dirt under this end or getting sweat or something up under this end and it starts slipping. And it feels absolutely terrible. It is enough to ruin your ride and make you not even be able to do any tricks so there needs to be a good fix for it and it is it is so simple but it's actually taking me years to find let me tell you what it is all you need is a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol and you'll be set you can just take your grip and roll it back on itself a little bit and kind of roll it back as far as it's slipping and then take your alcohol and squirt a little bit on your paper towel and then use your alcohol and paper towel to clean up your handlebar and the exposed rubber on the grip, and now it's gonna be completely clean. I know it can be a little scary to put liquid on your grips, but it's rubbing alcohol, it's gonna evaporate super quickly and leave your grip completely clean and sticky like it should be. So then once you see that everything is dried off, you can take it and roll it back down and it's gonna be sticky and hang on like a brand new set. But sometimes you can get your grip, <laughs> sometimes you can get your grip so messed up that you need to take the entire grip off to clean it out. What's the easiest way to take your grips off and put them back on? I will show you the trick that saved me hours. Obviously you do need to take your bar end off first. Never ride without these, it can literally save your life. So the best way to take these grips off is just to take an air compressor and basically turn your grip into a balloon. You can just stick it up under one end and inflate it and blow it right off. And now to put it back on, we're gonna do the exact same thing. I just get one little end started. I just slide in my air compressor and just inflate the grip and blow it on. Just like that, it's so fast. Okay, so the next hack only applies if you ride with the brake. And this might be a little bit more subjective, but it's about your brake positioning. And I think it's really important as to where you put your brake. So I used to always like ride with my finger really up high on the brake, cause I thought it gave me a better brake feel, but it made it a lot easier to over pull the brake and then have the lever give me a scar on my knuckles. So I've actually slid my brake out a lot more now to where the end is just barely over the end of my grip. So now I just ride with the very tip of my brake lever and you see I can pull it all the way back and it still won't touch my knuckle. So it's saving a lot of scars and hurt hands. So I think it's a little bit safer to actually run your brake lever a little bit farther away from your grip than you normally would. And this is gonna be a lot more personally subjective. Some people just really might like having their brake closer in, but I have found that running my brake farther away has definitely saved me from getting my fingers pinched by the brake lever. Next up, I have another safety hack. If you like doing any kind of tricks where you take your feet off the bike, or if you want to learn any tricks where you take your feet off the bike, you know how bad it can be if you have your crank spinning while your feet are off because then you don't know where to catch your crank so you end up in a weird position and then you go to put your feet back on and you don't know what's going on it's really bad some people end up installing crank stoppers which are like little pieces of rubber that go in there to prevent your cranks from spinning backwards too freely but the easiest way to do this where you don't have to take apart your bottom bracket to put anything on is just to run a really really tight chain get your chain as tight as it can be and just your chain can add enough tension to your cranks that they won't spin very freely backwards and you can see how tight mine are just from the chain so don't really spin in reverse just from all the tension on the chain next up is something that I'm not even doing right now, but I've done it in the past, so I'm gonna share it with you guys. If you're running a brake and you have a lot of extra hose wrapped around your stem to do bar spins with, then this hose is gonna end up rubbing on your frame. And it was starting to rub my paint off, so I used to always keep a little sticker right here, and that sticker just protected my paint, and I just recently peeled it off, and you see how clean my paint is. But let me show you a spot where the brake hose rubbed where I did not used to have a sticker. This is the front of the bike, and I've never put a sticker here, and you can see where my brake hose is rubbing. It's actually rubbed entirely through the paint, so that's how much your brake hose can just wear at your paint. So if you want to protect that, 
look at what your brake hose is rubbing and slap on a little sticker, some clear tape or whatever you want and it'll keep your bike clean. I'm back in my bike garage for the last two hacks I have for you and these are both kind of bike maintenance related. Now the first one is something that I use a lot if I'm out riding and I don't have any tools with me and I've crashed the bike or something and so my stem slip on the steer tube so that my handlebars are not lined up with the front tire. It's not the best thing in the world to do but if you're in an emergency and you just need to get your handlebars straight you can take your front tire and smack it against like a tree or something and it'll straighten your handlebars up good enough for you to still continue riding with. It's kind of painful to do but you just hold on to your bars and you find a tree and you just keep smacking your front tire on it in whatever direction you need to bend it until you've strained up your stem with the front tire. All that's happening is if you crash or something then the stem can slip around the steer tube so you're just smacking it to make the steer tube slip back again in the right way. So you are kind of grinding away your steer tube with your stem it can wear it down or something. So it is okay to do if you just need to get some riding done. I don't recommend doing it too often. So the last tip I have for you is also bike maintenance. If you have your bike upside down and you're working on it you see how easy it is to get your front tire off because your forks are kind of holding it up in the air. But if you're like me and you ride with your seat all the way down then your rear tire actually touches the ground instead of your seat. So if you're trying to take your rear tire off, it's getting stuck in the ground. It'd be kind of hard to slide it around, get your chain off or whatever. So the trick I have for you is actually to raise your seat up a little bit before you flip the bike over and that will raise your rear tire up in the air. So I'm gonna undo my seat clamp and then we can raise the seat up just a little bit. It doesn't need to go up that high. And then we can tighten it back down just a little bit, not super tight. Now you see when I flip the bike over, my rear tire's all the way in the air and the bike is sitting on the seat for our little bike stand. And it makes it so much easier to take the rear tire off and work on the bike. That's gonna be my last hack. Hopefully some of these are helpful for you and you can use them to improve your riding, make it easier to take care of your bikes. Let me know if you have any others. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe you'll get to use some of these bike hacks to make your riding better, make taking care of your bikes easier, any of that stuff. If you do, please let me know down below how this goes for you, any of the tricks that you use yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your grandmother, ask her for her bicycle tips, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.